Hi, I'm Dave Baring, and welcome to another Ask the Expert uh, session. Um, this particular question came to us from a bearing distributor. Uh, we do sell a lot of Rulon bearings, as you would imagine, to bearing distributors and um, other types of distribution outlets. And uh, so we get a lot of questions. Uh, there's a great deal of misunderstanding about what Rulons are and how they work. And so this question came in as, can you decode Rulon and explain what questions we should be asking our customers? Uh, we're glad that they asked us this because this is one of the big problems we have in determining the right fit for the Rulon materials. And uh, our bearing distributors are will recognize the Rulon LR and the J and the 641 because those are the predominant materials. But we also have a lot of other materials that uh, we sell as Rulon bearings as well. But the bottom line is that there are a number of questions that you can ask that will help us decode, uh, as this gentleman put, uh, what Rulon is and where you should use it and how you should use it. Um, the questions are pretty simple. Uh, first of all, we, we need to know what is the mating hardware because one of the areas that we are concerned about is uh, some of the Rulons have an abrasive nature so we want to be sure that we don't apply those against uh, stainless steel or aluminum hardware. Um, second thing is we want to know what the temperature is and uh, as with some of our other uh, Ask the Expert uh, conversations we've had, we've talked a lot about uh, temperature and uh, we not only want to know the running temperature of the application, but what are the minimums and maximums. Uh, because Rulon being a PTFE based product, uh, obviously requires a certain amount of press fit and running clearance. So we need to know what your minimums are, your maximums are, and then what your uh, normal operating conditions are. Third thing is, what's the environment going to be? Um, all Rulons, again being PTFE based, are relatively inert, but some of them have fillers that will be affected by certain chemical environments. So the question that you need to ask your customer is what kind of chemicals, what's the concentrations, and then also what is the temperature going to be uh, routinely for that chemical exposure. Um, also, you know, is it submerged in that chemistry or is it a splash or is it just a intermittent uh, possibility of an exposure? Um, another area of environment would be uh, wet or dry. You know, if it's wet, um, what kind of wet? Deionized water is an area where there are a number of Rulons that will work and others that won't. Um, so we need to find out what the nature of the water is. If it's unlubricated, um, you know, again, what type of environment are you working in? Is it a dusty, dirty, abrasive environment? Um, or is it a clean room environment? Um, because all this will affect which of the Rulons really works the best. Then we need to know the obvious things. What is the load? Uh, again in PSI. And uh, what is the speed in feet per minute? And that's both rotary and linear. And then the other question to ask if you're in an oscillating application is uh, the degree of oscillation and the number of cycles per minute. Uh, that'll help us determine exactly uh, what your feet per minute rate is. Uh, so if you can find out what these, the answer to these questions are, um, and you can get this on the video library as well in one of our presentations on Rulon bearings if you uh, want to get the more specific details. Um, but these are the questions that we ask our, our customers uh, in order to properly define which Rulon is appropriate for their application. If you do that, 99.9% .9 of the time, the Rulon will be an effective answer to the problem. So if you have any other questions about Rulon, we have a lot of information on our website. We have uh, uh, our white paper on Rulon and why it is uh, better than brand B and C. Uh, and we have a lot of technical information on Rulons as well. So please feel free to browse through our website Check out our blog site again. Um, there's a lot of information there on Rulon uh, bearings and Rulon stock shapes as well. So I hope you'll join us for some more Ask the Expert segments and uh, look forward to seeing you again.